Some of the job requirements don't require a degree. That makes it entry level friendly for anyone who's a career changer like I was. I didn't have a tech background and I was able to get my foot in the door. We're going to look for analysts. You're gonna go down and look for the section to filter for the public. That will be on the hiring path. Let's take a look at this public health analyst. Over here on your right hand side are the filters. Now, if we scroll down, we see the salary and a reminder that it's open to the public. It is remote, most importantly. And we're going to scroll down to the requirements. Now, there is a lot of information on here and I'm going to show you a hack and an easy way to read through all of this information and pull out just the information that you need to know. So let's scroll down to the requirements. For education, they do want you to submit a copy of your transcript, but it doesn't appear that there is a minimum level of education required. It does say that you have to have experience in these particular services, planning, program development, policy, analysis, evaluation. Let me show you the hack to be able to summarize this information so you're not overwhelmed. What you're going to do is open up a chat GPT using OpenAI's free account, and then you're going to type in the prompt, please help me summarize this job post in bullet points. Tell me what the requirements are, what the deadline is, so forth, and any tips to ensure that I meet the requirements. And you can play around with this prompt. You can enter information about yourself, your background. You can even upload your resume or copy and paste your LinkedIn profile resume and tell it to compare the results. It's so much easier to read in the bullet points like this. And now you know what you need, the tips to ensure that you're doing everything properly that you're following the instructions and you don't miss the deadline and you don't miss any paperwork. I will put a link to the website as well as a link to each of the jobs that we're discussing today. Now, please keep in mind that some of these have deadlines, which means that you cannot sit on these applications. Once the deadline is reached, they will close it. For my IT specialist people, if we look at this job role here, Scroll down and make sure you're looking at the filters on the right side of the screen. That's the overview and important information. First things first is the deadline. This expires next week. So jump on this quickly. They are looking for one permanent full-time position. This is not a contract job. If we go down to security clearance, it is not required. So let's scroll down to the qualifications and education requirements. For this one, they're looking for some programming knowledge, which you could have obtained during projects, a boot camp, self-study, or a couple of courses. Now, this is where your soft skills comes in. You have a non-technical background, you have work experience that wasn't in tech, but you dealt with customers. Here you go. Communication skills problem solving and attention to details. They do want a copy of your transcript, so make sure you submit that to ensure your application is not rejected. Summarize all this information to make it faster for you to read and understand what you need. The next job we're covering is for my cybersecurity people. We want to look at the deadline. This is on the 7th, so please apply right away. It gives you the salary range. It's paying up to $135,000. And if we scroll down, you can confirm it is remote. It's open to the public. It is full-time permanent. This is not a contract. And there is a security clearance. But if we do a control F for clearance, we can see that this takes us to the section for the conditions of employment and it specifies that you just have to obtain it and maintain it. You don't need it to apply, but once they call you in and give you a job offer, you have to be in a position where you can actually obtain the security clearance. I hope that's good news for some of you. Please let me know in the comments if you're going to apply or let me know your success story if you get called. If you scroll down here, as I mentioned before, the soft skills matters. Here's your attention to detail, customer service experience, communication, and problem solving. So there you have it. You can leverage your non-technical background. 
And so once again, if we go into ChatGPT and if we copy and paste this information in there, you can scroll down the list, see the bullet points, verify you're submitting all the proper information and get that resume and the application shipped off. Okay, for my data people, those of you who are interested in data science and data analytics, we have a job here. This is working for the Department of Health and Human Services for the CDC. And if we scroll down here, we can see that this job is going to be open until September, but you don't want to wait till the last minute. You want to get in as soon as possible. There is a large range here from $49 to $186,000 for the salary. That usually means they are hiring for multiple levels. And if we scroll down here, we can see grade seven through 15, which means they are hiring at multiple levels. This is a great opportunity for someone at the entry level. That means maybe no experience to three years of experience. So let's keep reading. Now it says degree, but don't be scared about that because it says, or that's what we want to look for. So they want you to have experience in these topics, but you can also have 30 credit hours. 30 credit hours can be anywhere from eight to 10 courses, college level courses in these topics. And that will be satisfactory for you to apply for this job. So that's an associate's level degree or associate's level courses for the GS7 level, at least one year of graduate level education or superior academic achievement, which means if you went to school, they want you to have a grade B or higher or one year of specialized experience and it tells you what that involves. And then it mentions or a combination of education of experience. So let me know in the comments if you're going to either apply for these jobs or maybe you're thinking about getting into government but didn't know that you could without having a security clearance or maybe you didn't know that there were remote opportunities or that they've become more flexible in their job and education requirements. So I would love to hear your success story.